So I get a lot of requests on my hair, how to style my hair and how I get my hair to look the way it does like 90% of the time. So I thought I'd do this video and just show you how I go from wet to completely dry and fully styled hair. So this is the hairstyle that I wear the most. It's really, really easy. It does not involve any styling, like hot styling tools. So you're kind of saving your hair and you're not damaging it. The only thing is that it doesn't involve any brushing. So I don't know, it's kind of like a, a balance, I guess. That's just the way I personally do my hair. But basically the style, I would describe it as just curly, like natural curly waves and kind of volumized and like big on top. So keep watching if you want to learn how to style your hair to look like this. As you could probably tell, my hair is completely wet. I have it up in a towel. And this is what my hair looks like when it's wet kind of naturally. It's really textured and it's kind of wavy by itself anyway. And what I did was I washed it with Herbal Essences It's a Curl Thing shampoo and conditioner. They're both still wet because I just used them. So they're the purple bottles if you're wondering. <clears throat> and I definitely recommend them. It just kind of holds your curl. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my parting which is a side parting, so it's kind of around there. And I never have it too exact, but that's kind of it. And then I'm going to blow dry my hair. Um, if you're interested, the blow dryer I use is the Sassoon one. I think I just got this up boots. But the brand of my hair dryer really doesn't matter that much to me so long as it works so this is going to be kind of loud but I'm basically going to blow dry just the root of my hair and that's it Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take some of my L'Oreal Studio Out of Bed Fibre Putty, which I really recommend. This is what I've been using for the past couple of years, like since I was, I don't know, 16, 17, and it really, really works. All it does is it kind of, first of all, it defrizzes your hair, so if you have really thick or like textured hair, it will just take the frizz out of it and define your waves, your curls, and you can kind of mold your hairstyle to what, whatever you want. So whether you have short hair or long hair, like mine, this is gonna work for you. And so long as you don't put a lot in your hair, it's not gonna make your hair hard or crunchy or anything like that. But you do have to use it kind of sparingly. So I'm just gonna take off my ring and Okay, there's already a ton of this on the lid. So I'm just gonna take some of this. Usually I use, I start off with about this much and then I rub it into my pan. And sometimes I take more, it depends on whether I feel that I need more or not. And then all I do is scrunch my hair. So this is just basically bringing it back to how it is naturally. It's really, really wavy and kind of curly. 
and the curls aren't obviously going to be so defined because all I'm doing is using my hands. I'm not using a curling iron or anything like that, a GHD, but this is definitely a lot healthier for your hair. Now, if you think that, you know, not brushing your hair out every time you shower or whatever is a bad thing, then maybe this isn't the hairstyle for you. I only ever brush my hair when I'm straightening it or when I'm styling it like with a hot tool, like a hair styling tool. But otherwise, this is like quicker, it's easier. Um, it's just more natural to me, so I like to do this most of the time, like 80, 90% of the time. So that should be enough. I just took the same amount again, so you can take as little or as much as you like depending on the thickness of your hair. I have pretty thick hair, so and when I get to the, when I go to the hairdressers, I actually ask them to thin it out with the thinning scissors. So. I kind of need a lot, a bit more product. So that is it. I don't normally touch my fringe or my bangs, whatever you want to call that, um, because, I don't know, I just think that's better to be left on its own, like natural. And then, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, just rub your hands off, because they're gonna get really, really sticky, and close this up. And then I'm going to just, blow dry it again and again don't focus on the end of your hair focus on the root so here we go and I'm sorry if this is really really loud also a really good tip for styling your fringe um, is to find out the way that it falls. So mine would fall on this side and if you want to make it fall like the nicest way which is kind of as if it was blow dried that way you should take it from over from the right side to the wrong side so you can tell like that looks really weird and blow dry it that way and then what will happen is you'll be left with, when you put it back over, you'll be left with a really nice wave, like a kind of a, I don't know, it's like this kind of a shape, you'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so now when I bring it over, it looks like this, and you can tell it just looks like there's more volume at the root, because it's being blow dried the opposite way, and I like that. I hate my hair flat on top. I think it looks really, really gross on me, especially because I have a kind of a prominent jawline, so I try and bring the volume, most of the volume, to the top of my head. So I'm just going to continue blow drying until my head completely dry and then I will come back. Another thing that I like to do is to always kind of almost scrunch up at the root and this kind of has the same effect as mousse does. I don't like to use a lot of product in my hair so literally this is all I use and the rest is just finger work so I just kind of try and bring volume to the top by like lifting it and scrunching it and doing things like that all the while blow drying it. So I just think that works the best for me and it saves you a lot of money because you're not using too many products. Okay, so that is it. Um, now you can probably tell that my hair is pretty much dry. There's still a couple of wet bits down here at the ends, but the top, my crown is completely dry and that's good too, especially when it's so cold. You do not want to be leaving the house with wet hair. It's just so, so bad for you to catch a cold and I really don't want that. So this is the hairstyle that I wear the most and it's the hairstyle that I like because it's kind of natural curls or waves and kind of big on top. 
so yeah so i hope this video helped you guys and don't forget to send me in your requests whatever kind of videos you want let me know and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys